Good morning. My name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting a company update from Volcana Gold Mines, which trades on the TSXV under the symbol VG. Joining me is Volcanics President and CEO Simon Ridgway. Simon, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Well, thank you for the invite, Megan. So, Simon, to start things off, could you introduce our audience to Volcana Gold Mines and your portfolio of projects in Guatemala? Yeah, Volcanic Gold Mines is exploring in Guatemala, has been has been here for a number of years. Um, we And we in those years, we've made a couple of very good discoveries. You know, Guatemala's got amazing geological potential. It's known to be, you know, it's got like many countries these days, it's got some political risk. But that for me, that's offset by the by the huge geological potential the country has. So I've, I've made a number of discoveries here over the years, been very successful. And I came back into the country a few years ago because the politics changed a little, and I think it's a great time to be exploring here. So when we came back in the country, we had a we made a joint venture with a company called Radius Gold, which I'm already involved, still involved in. Um, they had a big portfolio of projects that we acquired from them, and we began, you know, their early stage projects. We began to look at them all and getting rid of some and keeping the ones that were successful. We had the Holly project, which I've, we've drilled off about four hundred thousand ounces at nine grams, and it's still open, still still want warrants more work. Um, and we have the Montagua Norte property, which is the one I'm most excited about. It is a large um, belt of high-grade orogenic gold systems in, in the Schistos belt that's located in a major suture zone. So the, right on the plate boundary between the Caribbean plate and the North American plate, we've got this 25-kilometer belt of schists that are, are associated with some major structures. Um, something there on the on the Miller project, which we'll focus in on. We identified an area of about 700 meters by about 400 meters with a, with a, a lot of visible gold in quartz, float, boulders, um, in what we thought was outcrop, subcrop, but just a, a lot of VG um, in quartz and schistos rocks. We did uh, when we first found it. I thought the geologists that I had working on it were sort of high grading, you know, just sampling that where they could see visible gold or not. So I got them to just run two meter samples across 40, 50 meters, whatever was there, right? Whether it was subcross, outcrop or float. So we could kind of determine what we're looking at. And we got a lot of very high grade, lots of samples over a hundred grams, but, um, and, you know, some broad intervals of, of uh, 50, for, you know, 42 meters of 30 grams, uh, um, 50 grams over 24 meters, that, those kind of numbers. It's just, just continual samples. We didn't know what we, you know, it's very hard to interpret. The boulders are very large. So whether you're, as you can see in that top picture, whether we're looking at, you know, outcrop or subcrop, we really didn't know. So when I, when we started drilling this a couple of weeks ago, I put out a news release into the market. We're going to drill the Miller project. It's a very challenging project. Um, it's very exciting because the amount of gold here. But we don't really understand the controls on that gold mineralization right now. We don't know if, it's, if you know if the veins are running north south or east west or what's controlling the gold deposition. So we initially it appeared to us that the 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 ridges that ran the, the boulder ridges that ran north south it appeared that they were they were in place and they were controlling the mineralization. So what we did is we put a couple of holes in testing these east west zones the way we'd had those continual sample running. And it turns out that we went through sort of, you know, five to 15 meters of colluvium, um, quartz colluvium for the most part, sometimes with visible gold in, but it was under seeded by the serpentinite. So we went through the colluvium and into the serpentinites. So it became pretty clear after the first two or three holes that actually this major east-west structure that was uphill from us, that that was controlling the gold deposition. And that, you know, the, each to the to the east and to the west of the area where we call the Miller Zone, which I'm now going to call the Miller Chute, it appeared that the vein was that big vein was kind of barren because we'd sampled it and got you know some some silver and lead in there, but not much in the way of gold. But in the area of the Miller Chute where all these boulders were, there was no big vein. It was just boulders on boulders, right? So we didn't really understand the controls. But it, now I've drilled those east-west holes and found that. It's all underlain by the serpentinite. It is clear to me that the serpentinite and the schist's contact is so. In other words, the old the, the the North American plate and the Caribbean plate sort of come together along that major east-west structure, and that is the target. And that is a geological setting that um, 
some major deposits in the world, like the California mother load was exactly in the same geological setting. So when I put out the news last week that we kind of missed by drilling east west and we're going to turn the rigs around, the market sold off on that. And I was kind of surprised because I expected them, like me, to get excited by that fact. The fact I'm going to be drilling five to 20 holes testing that east-west structure is clearly because I believe we are now understand it um, and we're going to target a major structure that's, that is bringing or delivering, I'll say, all, these, all that high-grade gold. It's a very exciting target. We're drilling it at the moment. We'll be drilling it for the next few months. And I expect we will have results coming in. You know, we'll probably drill three holes, put them into the lab. So we're going to be six weeks before we see um, any results. But after that, it'll be results coming every week as we, you know, as we get more and more holes in, or every couple of weeks at least. I think it's a very exciting target. I was very surprised the market misread what I was saying, or or maybe maybe they just read the first paragraph. I'm not sure, but it's. I think things are looking a lot better than they were when I thought it was in East North South ridges. Very exciting target. And so I'm going to cap things off from a big picture perspective. Can you discuss what excites you about the potential as at Mila as you continue to drill? Well, you know, in, in California, for example, in just one shoot on the same geological setting, the the old Empire shoot had 5.5 million ounces of 19 grams because it went down a thousand meters. In these systems, it's not like an epithermal system. There's not a couple of hundred meters of depth. Here you've got, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred meters of depth. So if we can see, and the structure is big. So if we can, you know, we get 10 meters and 10 grams across that structure and it goes down that, you know, that to that depth, we could be in that kind of situation where we see two or three million ounces in one shoot. That is the geological potential of what I'm targeting. The company's got 40 odd million shares out. We've got about 3 million in the treasury when we started drilling. We're well financed to, to establish this. And I think more importantly is that we have about a 25 kilometer belt along, uh, along this structural setting where we're seeing in various areas along that belt, this kind of high grade. So if we prove up this geological potential here, we're gonna be very busy for the next few years. Absolutely. And uh, Simon, to cap things off, do you have any final comments for our listeners on vol volcanic gold mines? Stay tuned. <laughs> I love it. Straight to the point. Once again, I want to thank you for coming on the show today, Simon, and we'll be keeping a close eye on your developments and look forward to having you back on again soon. Thanks for, being, thanks for inviting me.